I'll just call the meeting to order. Hi, everybody. A warm welcome to all of you. I call the meeting to order. So um, I uh, a warm welcome to all our members and also a warm welcome to the district membership team. Thank you so much for uh, joining us for um, you know, accepting our invite to conduct this new member orientation training for our members. Thank you so much, ma'am. So before we begin, I would like to request uh, Lakshmi ma'am to uh, sing the invocation song. Okay, thank Lakshmi, you. Yeah. 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 Nafti sutaye, ajajaye, mama mahastaka, Nire jadali, nati sutai, ajajai, manasa, adhimanasa, kere, adhimanasa, maidore, manasa, adhimanasa, Kere Adhimanas Maidore Ananda Mruta Rasa Sure Nati Sutai Ajajai Mama Mastaka Nire Jadali Nati sutai, nati sutai, nati sutai, ajajai. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Lakshmi, ma'am. Uh, actually, our Justin sir was supposed to do the announcement of birthdays and anniversaries, but uh, since he has not joined, uh, I'll be skipping that. And uh, before I go ahead, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our district membership team, Dr. Rupa Haryani, ma'am. Um, she is from Rotary Club of Bangalore Southwest. Her classification is dental surgeon. She is serving as the district deputy trainer and she is serving as the DEI chair for the club. A warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rotarian Srinivas KR. He is from Rotary Bangalore Metro. His classification is Jeweler. He is the district membership director and he is the membership chair and advisory for the club. A warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Rotarian Sri Vidya Mohan. She is from Rotary Bangalore Orchards. Her classification is homemaker. She is the district director, women in Rotary. She is the past president of Rotary Bangalore Orchard. A warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, ma'am. Rotarian Om Prakash Kindle. Um, he is from Rotary Bangalore Baswan Gudi. His classification is advocate. And he is the district director dual membership and he is the TRF chair for the club. A warm welcome to all the district officials present here. It's an honor to have all of you um, conducting this new member orientation training for our, for our, for our club. And it's, um, it's really wonderful that um, you all have made this precious time for us. Thank you so much. And also, I would like to extend a hearty welcome to all our club members who are who have taken their time out and uh, joining this training. I would request our club members to make the best uh, best of uh, utilization of this opportunity that is given to us, and also to ask as many questions as you can and a uh, happy learning to all of us. And I'm also learning along with all of you today. So thank you so much for all for joining our uh, meeting today. So before I hand it over to our uh, district membership team, I would like um, all our uh, members to give a very quick introduction, just uh, their name 
what role they serve in the club and um, where they are working. Uh, hope that is okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a very quick introduction of all, and I would hand then I would hand it over to the membership uh, training team. Um, uh, first, I would like to begin with myself. So I am Chandana Chandrasekhar, and I'm serving as the president for this year. And I work for Ernst & Young as senior associate uh, for operations and mobility. Uh, next, Asha. I'm just going by the name uh, on the screen. Okay, so good evening, everyone. So my name is Asha Sridhar. I have autism spectrum disorder and I currently work at SAP Labs India Private Limited as a quality associate through Enable India's Autism at Work program. And I have been with Rotary Club since 2018 after I won the Rotary Vocational Heroine Award. And I mostly participate in volunteer work activities. Over to you, Chandana. Thank you, Asha. Chandrasekhar, sir. Chandrasekhar, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chandrasekhar. I'm in Roti since uh, three years. My I'm working for uh, Bank of Baroda, and my designation is I'm working as a senior manager. Uh, Rotary, uh, last year, be, be, uh, before last year, I was treasurer. This year, I was a member. Thank you. Thank you, Chandrasekhar, sir. Uh, Gopi sir, our new member. Good evening everyone. This is uh, Dr. Gopi from Madurai. I am working as associate <laughs> professor in Rogani College of Engineering, Kanyakumari. So I'm a new member in uh, Rotary Bangalore Abilities. Thank you. Thank you, Gopi sir. meeting Zoom meeting Kamishwari. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Kameshwari, and uh, I work with Google as a program manager. And uh, with Rotary, I am the youth service director for this year, 23-24. Thank you, and uh, happy to be a part of this training. Thank you, Kameshwari. Lakshmi, ma'am. Lakshmi ma'am. Okay, Nagraj sir. Um, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. So good evening everybody. Uh, I am Nagraj. I am the charter uh, member of this uh, club actually since uh, our club's inception I'm here. And uh, this year I am the vocational services director. I was the past president of this club. And uh, um, this year, I'm also there in district as a uh, chairperson for disability it's, uh, under community. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I work for uh, State Bank of India as a deputy manager. Thank you. Thank you, Nagrasit. Arvind, sir? Now I'm, I, I, I could yeah, not Lakshmi, unmute. Yeah, I could no not problem. unmute from now on. No problem. I'm Lakshmi. Can... Um, I joined uh, six months back to this uh, Rotary. Uh, I'm really happy to, uh, I'm uh, running an NGO called Sahana Charitable Trust, and I'm an ex-employee of uh, Central Bank of India. I've taken VRS. Uh, yeah, and I'm really happy to be with uh, Rotary Abilities. Thank you, Lakshmi. Arvind, sir. Good evening, everyone. I am Arvind Daralaguppe. So I am also a charter member of this club. So I was the president in... Rotary year 2021, 20, sorry, 21 22. 21 22. So this year I am vice president and community sorry, service director sorry. in the club. Also, I am one of the committee member in the district disabled committee under community service. So I am so happy to see my co president Sri Vidya today. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Arvind, sir. Pooja. Pooja? Pooja, are you there? 
Okay, in the meantime, she comes back. Rag Raghavendra, sir. Good evening, everybody. My name is Raghavendra Janivarat. I work for Judicial Department of Karnataka. Mm -hmm. I am also a charter member of this club. Uh, this year, my role is public image chair. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Kiran? Uh, Chandana, he is uh, on an official call uh, for now. Okay, no problem. Shalini? Once again, good evening all. I am Shalini, working in New India Assurance Company as an assistant manager. This year, I am uh, Women Empowerment Chair. Thank you once again. Gokul? Thank you, Shalini. Gokul? Hi, everybody. This is Gokul from Chennai. Uh, I am a new member of this uh, Rotary Bangalore Abilities. Uh, I joined in July 2023. Uh, I work for uh, Ernst & Young as a senior associate in audit and assurance. Thank you. Shreyas, thank you, Gokul. Hello, good evening, everybody. This is Advocate Shreyas, and it's so nice to be here. Go ahead, Shreyas. You already spoke. Okay, okay. Thank you. Justin, sir, last. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Dr. Haryani. This is Justin. I work for an NGO called Vision Aid. I teach spoken English. And uh, I was a charter president in the year 1718. It's good to be here. Thank you, Justin, sir. One last call for um, Kiran and Pooja. Okay. I'm not sure. Maybe some technical issues. So thank you so much. Happy learning to all of us. Now I would like to hand it over to the membership team. Uh, Rupa ma'am, uh, Shinivas sir, um, Shrividya ma'am, and Om Prakash sir. So over to you. And uh, thank you so much for accepting our invite once again yeah. for um, conducting this orientation training for us. Uh, make, make them co-hosts so that they can use the screen. Sure, screen I'll do sharing. That. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, Arun sir. has joined just now with yeah, uh, our club secretary. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, just please, a please, please. small intro. Good, Arun? Good, good evening to all of us. My sincere apologies for coming in uh, so late. I was stuck in another meeting. I'm very, very sorry about that. And a uh, 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 very hearty welcome to everybody. And, uh, you know, so looking forward to this event coming up and uh, enlightening all of us on the do's and don'ts, uh, if I can say, about protein and how we can make the best out of it. So thank you so much for all, all of you for joining. Thank you so much. Hi, Arun. This you. is Rupa here. Hi, Rupa. How are you doing? Very good. Nice to see you. Pleasure seeing you. So, good evening, all. Good evening. This, this is uh, Rotan Srinivas, the membership director, uh, director membership chair for District 3191, the newest <laughs> district in the world. Very nice of uh, President Chandana, Secretary Arun Mohan, and the whole team to be inviting all of us. And I thank uh, District Deputy Trainer Rupa Rani, Madam, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Madam. Welcoming all of you to this wonderful meeting today. I would like to know one thing. How many of you are new members here? Can you just uh, tell me, Chandra, Madam, from the, in, 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 whatever the in, introductions came, I saw three of them, but other, how many actual uh, new members? There are four new members. Uh, one is uh, Shriyas, Advocate Shriyas. Okay. The other okay. is uh, Uja Chatta. The third is uh, Dr. Gopi. And fourth is uh, Mr. Gopi. Oh, very. Also Kiran. Ah, and, and yeah, Kiran has been there with us for the last two months. So I don't consider yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Kiran He's and Lakshmi having... joined about six months ago. Yeah. yeah. So on... On behalf of the district training team and the 
district membership team. Thank you all for this wonderful opportunity for uh, inviting us here. And now may I call upon Dr. Rupa Haryani to take over the proceedings now. Doctor? Thank you. Thank you, Captain Srinivas. Okay, so every, all of you may be wondering why we call him Captain Srinivas. I also <laughs> don't know, but that seems to be a very endearing name. So he is perpetually known as Captain in the Rotary World. So I would like to address him that way. So a very good evening to all of you once again. Thank you, President Chandana. Thank you, Rotary Abilities, for initiating this session for new member orientation program. Being a fellow Rotarian, I would like to take this opportunity to extend my compliments and appreciation because we can all see that Rotary Abilities is a stickler to protocol. It is so nice that you've taken this business of new member orientation so seriously and you're actually incorporating it. So thank you once again. And uh, with that, let us start off today's session. Let me take you all back to the history of Rotary as to how Rotary actually initiated or how it took its inception. Now, some of us may say, you know, might say, and past is past. Now, we should be bothered about the current. We should be bothered about the future. So why are we bringing in the past? Why are we bringing in the history? But to actually know who we are, what we are, and why we are here today, we need to actually dig into the past. As someone has wisely said, if you want to know the gravity and the seriousness of today, you need to revisit yesterday. So with those sentiments and congratulating the new Rotary family members of Rotary Ability, now I want you all to imagine that you are in a time capsule, right? We're all traveling in a time machine right now. I want you to imagine that. And you let us go back 118 years into the year of 1905. Yes, I'm taking you to the last century, 20th century, into the downtown market of Chicago. Now, why am I taking you to this specific area is because that is where our founder, whom we call as Paul Harris, his complete name being Paul Percival Harris or Paul Percy Harris, as we call him. He was the one who started our Rotary organization and he practiced his profession over there. I think one of you said that you are into the judicial department over here. So akin to that, Paul by profession was a lawyer. Now he was a really serious, serious lawyer. He didn't really like socializing with too many people. He didn't have too many friends, you know, very strict by his profession, et cetera, et cetera. But one day a thought struck Paul Harris that what am I doing? You know, I don't have a good network. I don't have too many friends. In fact, so many people here are exactly like me in, in the downtown Chicago market area. They all come, do their business, go back home. And that's it. There is no really mingling of people. There is no friendship. There is no happiness, gatherings, etc., etc. So that's how he got an idea that I think we must all get together and start an association where people from different beliefs, faith, religion, whatever, they all come together and we should have happy times. Now he wanted to share this idea and he wanted to wet the idea whether it is good or not. So he called three of his friends. Though Paul didn't really have many friends and he had only some contacts from his own fraternity, these three friends were close to him. And who were they? We call them as our founding fathers. Now one of them was a tailor by name Hiram Shorin. The other one was a coal dealer called as Sylvester Sheen. And the third one was Gustavus Lord. He was into mining business. Now, these three were very close to Paul. So, Paul wanted to share this idea with them. So, what he did was he invited them to a particular room. That room is historical. That's why I'm mentioning that. Room number 711 of Unity Building in downtown Chicago. He called them on and they all met that day. And he told them about his idea. They were all mesmerized. They were like, oh God, it's such a fantastic idea. We will not only get to improve our network, we will have new friendships. It's a great opportunity for business. So they all agreed. And that was the day, which day, my dear friends? 
23rd February 1905, which is actually the birthday of Rotary. The day was the first meeting of the very first club in the world, which later came to be known as Rotary Club of Chicago. Now, all these four friends got together and they started calling more of their friends. They, you know, they started sharing this idea like, come, I think this is a great opportunity. So many people started joining. Initially, they used to meet here and there. But then one member asked question. Now that so many members are there, why don't we have a proper place to meet? Some of them said, okay, we can meet in a club. Then some others said, we will meet in a hotel. But then one of them had a brilliant idea. He said that, since we are so many of us, it's nice to meet in each other's houses as long as it is possible. And let us take it on a rotation basis. And that's how the word Rotary Club came into initiation. So, and that's why we have this Rotary organization, 118 years old, one of the greatest organizations in the world. Now, all this happened because they wanted members. Let me tell you, friends, Rotary was never meant to be a service organization. It was purely for members only, like, you know, to increase the membership, to increase business opportunities. Like what we have BNI now, this idea was in Paul Harris's mind 118 years back. But how did we become one of the greatest service organizations in the world? Now, I just want you to imagine those of you who are from Bangalore. See, we have this Chickpet area, Avenue Road area. You must have all gone sometime or the other in your life, right? I'm sure similar areas exist in Chennai, Delhi, where the new members are from. Very crowded, narrow market areas. Now, when, when, even till today, let me tell you, friends, um, sorry for bringing this up, but whenever I go there to shop with my friends, I make sure I don't drink water. Only for the reason that where I will have to visit the washrooms. Even the paired ones there are still not so hygienic, isn't it? The same condition was there in downtown Chicago at that time. Now, people would come to shop, even the gentlemen would come, ladies would come, and especially the ladies were very hesitant. They didn't want to accompany their husbands and come for shopping for the very reason that there was no facility of comfort station or washrooms. And if the gentlemen wanted to use the washrooms, then deliberately they had to go to a bar, shell out some money, buy a pint of beer or some drink, and then they could use because you just can't enter a bar and say, I'm just going to use your washroom, right? The same thing happened to the ladies. They used to go to the departmental stores and just in the pretext of using the washrooms, they had to buy something. So this was a huge problem there. So that is when Paul and all his friends thought that, hey, we, are, can, we can all do something, you know, a, a, some kind of a project, some kind of a service thing for the community where this problem can be solved. So they got together with the local authorities, like how we have a BBMP, they got together with the local authorities. They, uh, you know, discussed this idea and the authorities really liked it. And the authorities gave them money, some extra money, whatever was deficit was put by all the Rotarians over there. And the very first service project of Rotary was executed in 1907, two years after its birth. And that was the founding of the comfort stations or washrooms or toilets, as we can call it, both for the gentlemen and for the ladies. So, you know, friends, and that was when Paul realized, oh my God, what, a, what power we all have when we all collect together, when we collaborate with each other, not only are we able to improve our business and have network, but we can also do something for the humanity. And that is when Paul made such a fantastic statement. You know what that statement is? As long as the water flows down the hill, as long as the grass grows green in the world, so will Rotary uphold its ideal. And that is nothing but the ideal of service to humanity. And that is how we have our motto as service about self. And we happen to be one of the best and one of the greatest service and member organizations in the world. Now, for such a huge organization to sustain for 118 years, kuch to hona chahiye, something should be there, isn't it? You should have strong pillar, you should have a strong foundation. For that, we have something called as the core values of Rotary 5. Now, I'm not showing this hand. I'm showing my palm. It doesn't mean I'm representing any political party. Excuse me. <laughs> I am just saying that you get one strong fist, right? We get a strong mukti. Same way, there are five elements of nature. All of us know we have earth, water, 
fire, air and space. Now we all know that only if these five elements are in tandem or sync with each other, if they're in equilibrium, then we have health, mental peace and physical well-being, right? So same way, we have five core values or five strong founding elements of Rotary and those are first one is service, doing good to humanity. Second is fellowship, where we believe in bonding, team strength and team spirit. We have diversity in Rotary. We just do not have any barriers of race, caste, religion, abilities, education status, marital status, language, no barrier at all. We believe that everyone is a valuable asset to Rotary. Fourth value is integrity, where we believe that honesty and transparency are our virtues. And I'm sure the uh, older members of Rotary Abilities will already know. And even the new members will, I'm sure, will know or are getting introduced to what we call as the four-way test. Please Google it out and you will know more about it. I'm referring to the new members or you can ask your senior members of Rotary Abilities. So it's a fantastic test where you're supposed to follow it in Rotary as well as in your business. And that is how you earn credibility and you hold up integrity as well. And the fifth and the last core value is that of leadership, where Rotary is a fantastic platform to experience leadership in many different roles. And every year after year, Rotary produces fantastic leaders, be it at the club level, level district level, zone level, or international level. And that is how we keep the flag of Rotary flying high always. So with those sentiments and with those concluding remarks, I would like to congratulate the new members once again and the Rotary abilities. I'm sure you know the six eyes of inducting new members and that is identify, invite, introduce, inform, induct and involve. So you have gone up to the fifth stage, you have already inducted the new members, information is happening right now on the screen, but please do involve the new members and that is how we make them a part of our family and I request the new members also, whichever area of service or any other fellowship that you are interested in, please express it openly to the other members and to, the, and to President Chandana and I'm sure they will take care of you and wish you a great journey in Rotary. With those sentiments, over to Captain Srinivas. Thank you very much, Doctor. That was very informative for all the older members of the club. I think you know most of it and maybe we all learned a lot from Dr. Ruparyani Maran. It's always a fact. Every time she gives an address, I learn a lot. And I hope it's the same with the other members here. And for the newer members, welcome to the world of Rotary and opening out to the world of service, friendship, and fellowship. Like Rupa Madam said, the service started with the wash station, the comfort station. But before that, two years before that, when they started out, what did they start out with? First, friendship. The four people started out with friendship. And from there, the fellowship, they added more and more and more members. They added maybe the coffee, maybe had a glass of wine or whatever. Only then they started the business part of it and then the service part. And here, this is what Rotary is all about. And when we go into the actual activities of Rotary, we go into the five avenues of service, avenues. Now we have added the sixth one. I'll come to that later. Can any of the older charter members tell me which are the five avenues of service in Rotary? Any of the older members? Vocational, community, yes. okay, club, okay, youth and okay. international. Fantastic, sir. Fantastic. And the last one, which has been recently added as a prime area of service, environmental, sir. Environmental. Uh, no, sir. I mean, I would say is public image. Public image, but that's okay. This is newly added on as one of the prime areas of service. But like our charter president, Justin Sir said, these are the five plus one areas of service. Very nice. And I would like to go a little behind this. I would like to talk about Rotary International District 3190, 
of which we were all a part of. When the club Rotary Bangalore Abilities was started by past president Zareer Bhatta with the sponsorship of Rose RCB and Justin Sir as the charter president, we had at the end of last June, we had 170 clubs, which is why, which is very tough for anybody to handle, any district governor to handle, which is why we had to split into two districts so that it becomes manageable for administration, for every other means, into Rotary International District 3191 and 3192. And welcome all of you to the newest district in the Rotary world, Rotary International District 3191. And we have the pleasure of being the charter members of the, the new district, I suppose, uh, right, uh, Dr. Madam? So, going on that, to start the new district, we have now 3,200 members and asking uh, all our presidents to pin their new members, but upload them on August 15th. But going by the feedback, we have already added 500 new members into the district as of yesterday from the all the counts. That I think is a record uh, in the Rotary world. Thank you all of you for every president and every club. And Rotary abilities, especially adding five new jewels, four new jewels, and three more in the last couple of months. So that's about seven, eight new uh, jewels. And let me tell you something else. Among the clubs in the district, you have 25 new, 25 members, and I see 10 lady members, which is 40%, which is a record of sorts. Thank you very much. And going on the avenues of service, first comes club service. What do we mean by club service? Organizing regular meetings of the club, inviting the speakers for that, inviting the club members for that. You know who's the club service director here? Madam President? Myself, Justin. Justin, sir. Yeah. So, you, so you know all about it. So inviting the members to that, getting the speakers for that, organizing get-togethers, organizing you know, family meets, all those things come under club service. Even organizing, going for the ICGFs, which is something unique to the district of 3190 and now to 3191 and 92, into service general forum, six of them, and going for the convention and the conference of the district conference. All these things come under club service. And how many physical meets do you have every year, uh, Justin, sir? President? We, we have a goal of at least one meeting a month. Monthly one. Monthly one. And uh, the other one is online. The rest are online, yeah. Very nice. That's very nice. See that <laughs> We have that... weekly meetings happening on Thursday every week. We don't miss that. And uh, every uh, once in a month, we all want to meet. It will be a fellowship come meeting. That's fantastic. You meet every Thursday? Yes, every Thursday is our weekly meeting. We meet online via Zoom. And once in a month, we meet in any of our houses or any place. If we are able to find some place, we meet there. Or it will be in any of our houses. That's absolutely wonderful, madam. In fact, my home club also meets on Thursday. But I think I'll drop in sometime to your club Zoom meeting if it's possible or <laughs> if I'm allowed to. <laughs> Definitely. Most welcome, sir. Very nice. You're always welcome. Very nice. So that is what is part of the club service. Because see, Look at all of that energy. The, way, the moment you said that, we all get together in somebody's house. Look at the smile on the president's face. It was wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, uh, Rotarians from Abilities? Really great. And speaker meets one, um, uh, one a month or maybe one uh, every month or twice a month. How many do you have? Um, yeah. We are planning for once a month, but uh, depending on how we are able to get the speakers, we will plan accordingly. One we have on August 4th, uh, where we are inviting Rotarian uh, Ramesh Shivana. He will be talking about uh, renewable energy. Very nice, very nice. See, this is what club service is all about. And also going on maybe a family picnic, a month, a yearly tour, something like that. 
which is what gets the bonding of the club and the members together, the club members and the families. This is exactly what it is. Maybe have a potluck lunch or dinner. This is wonderful. Is that when you all meet up, you said you meet up in somebody's house. What happens? Sometimes the lady of the house gets to the dinner, lunch, whatever. Sometimes you get a potluck. That's nice, isn't it? So that is club service for you. Next, we go to the next one, youth service. Under youth service, we have Interact and the Road Tract. Interact is for children between 13 and 18. Road tractors from 18 to 30. But nowadays, the line is blurred, plus or minus. But that is the feeder line, which is what we all look at for Rotary, where the children learn so much about joining an organization which is worldwide, learning how to go to, with other children, do some service, learn about mixing with people, learn to give, learn to give. That is something very, very essential. That is in the school stage. And when they go out into the world, that will be very, very useful. They'll know how to act and do their job properly. Even the road tractors. Many of the road tractors are now become Rotarians. And they've gone up to become district governors and even more. Isn't that wonderful? See, that gives an opportunity for leadership, personality development, leadership development. And in, the, in school, I was a very much of an introvert. But now I've joined Rotary. I find I'm a blabbermouth is what people said. That's okay. See, that's what brings the best out of a person in Rotary. You get to become a leader. And when you join Rotary, you are considered a leader in your own vocation or profession. That is why you've joined. And in youth service, this is what the children learn. And after that, youth service, we also have Raila, Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Do you con uh, conduct uh, Raila's in your club, madam? President? Um, we do not, uh, I don't know whether we can call it a Raila, but we have, we don't do it inter school or inter college, we haven't done. But within the school, Yes. Uh, maybe different classes we have done, but I don't know whether that is a Raila or something. But this year, definitely we will plan one. Wonderful. So you all of you know what is Raila. For the newer members, Raila is the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards where children from a single school institution or maybe from a couple of institutions to get together and are given a series of trainings by a set of people who are well worse in their art for several things like personality development, speech making, arts, the services, vocations, so many other things. That is when they learn to get together, become leaders. Everybody is given a chance to lead that particular group of maybe five or six or maybe 30. That gets them the confidence. This is what Raila is all about. And going on with that, we also have the youth exchange program where a set of children get to go to another club or to another district or maybe sometimes overseas. And the children from that country or that district also come to our district, stay with the family and for maybe for a week or so and sometimes even for the education that is also there, which is when they learn about the culture and the society of that particular city or state or wherever. That's a wonderful opportunity for youngsters a really wonderful opportunity this is what youth service is all about because I'm, I'm cutting down on things because we don't have too much time but this is basically the gist of what youth service is about then we go to the vocational service what do we mean by vocational service anybody can give me an elaborate in that particular point justin sir and Nagrat, sir, anybody? Uh, it is the classification of their vocation based on their uh, work as yes. well as uh, conducting trainings, jobs, uh, melas, uh, things like that, giving awards. Because uh, this time I have taken over as a vocational service director. Yes, sir. And uh, like uh, the uh, particular committee that you're heading, sir. 
you are heading a particular committee in the vocational service yeah yeah so this we have done uh, career counseling sessions uh, yes. two places we also had one four way test program such wonderful wonderful the, these are the wonderful things that go under the vocational services we can also give skill uh, training skill management training to all the uh, underdeveloped people i mean the people who need those training there are a lot of children who do not have the ability to go to school or to go to college you give them you give them an opportunity to learn a skill maybe electrical training maybe sewing maybe plumbing car driving i remember a couple of years ago one of the clubs gave an opportunity to a lot of young men and women to learn how to drive a car and got them their license and many of them went on to become cab drivers or maybe a bus driver that is vocational service don't you think and lot of clubs in the district in around the world yes madam yes madam doctor doctor no i put a thumbs up for that okay thank you <laughs> and a lot of our clubs lot of our clubs have donated sewing machines to the deserving people ladies who do not have a vocation or they do not have an income they are given training how to sew how to do embroidery things like that and make a living all these comes under vocational service and giving awards to the recognized people to recognize somebody for selfless work done to society you in your yeah. club has done a lot of that i hear and you also i'm sorry i forgot you have done a happy school correct correct me if i'm wrong uh, nagraj sir yes yes we have done one happy school last one, year wonderful all that also one in, in kunagal i uh, and also we have donated one sewing machine for a lady last year whose uh, uh, children have uh, growth issues and the lady uh, did not have any source of income to run her family and she is the only earning member of her family so we donated a sewing machine and uh, we uh, set up a small shop for her where she can sell uh, what all she is able to stitch wonderful madam wonderful so going to the next one and we also have a flagship program idpd international yes. person that's something yes that's something wonderful your club is doing the idpd okay. program is something extraordinary and you have the support of the entire district to do this and to be very fair your club is one of the very few in the entire rotary world which is unique unique in the matter i'm sorry to i may die no disrespect uh, thing for the differently able people a club for the differently able this is something unique in the rotary world extraordinary and congratulations to all of you for coming in to rotary and doing such wonderful service wonderful service and the next one i'll go to don't have too much time international service what do we do in international service we have lot of activities done like the conference the icgfs the convention and then the fellowships the road the action groups all this comes under international service how many action groups are there in rotary do you reckon how many of you have been in a part of a rotary action group okay now can i tell what's a rotary action group uh, where we concentrate on a particular activity like lake rejuvenation disease prevention diabetes prevention water uh, like uh, you know water and sanitation all these have an action group a set of people in rotary who concentrate only on that particular subject and go about it and they do not bother about other things they really concentrate and do a fantastic job something great lake rejuvenation last couple of years i think in bangalore we have done more than about 15 20 lakes that is one part then the fellowships we have, we have people enjoying rotary not to hard work every time only hard work enjoyment is also there we have fellowships for music we have fellowship for cycling motorcycling hiking trekking coffee of which uh, i'm one of the starting directors coffee fellowship tea food lovers so many more so many more 
and wishing all of you can join some kind of fellowship to enjoy the activities of Rotary. And then we also have the convention. The last one was in uh, Melbourne. The next one is in Singapore. The uh, district governor plans to take 600 people to the Rotary convention. So looking forward to all of you joining it. And I learned a lot of it, a lot of things in the Rotary convention, thanks to our district trainer, Rupa Reni, madam. She suggested so many things and I learned a lot. This is one more. Yes, somebody wants to talk, say something. Okay. And then, then I go to the last one. I mean, uh, co community service, which is something very important, which is one of the core part of Rotary, where we all do so much. You did the Happy School, you did the Kamadenu, you have done the <coughs> other projects, you know, like blood donation, all of that, health camps, all of that comes under the community service. How many projects did you do last year, Madam? Kanti Madam was the president. She did wonderfully well, I'm told. Uh, we have done a lot of community projects. We did um, uh, around four to five health camps, uh, blood donation camp. We did two, I guess. And uh, happy school was the major thing. Yes. And uh, other than that, uh, we did a few speaker sessions. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. <laughs> Wonderful, man. Yeah. So, okay. I, I just want to cut down uh, my thing. And last one. Public image, you have done a lot on public image. The board outside the RHF says we meet a Rotary. And the bust of Paul Harris are just down the line from Rotary House of Friendship. Give so much public image to the public about Rotary itself. Done? And when you go out, when you put your standee, people come and see what are you. And when you wear the pin, the Rotary pin is the biggest public image activity of all. Request all of you to kindly wear your Rotary pin in all your activities, in your day-to-day -day life. I heard from all of you, you're all working in big companies and banks. Very glad to see that. But wear your rotary pin. And believe me or not, that will get you more members and get you much, much more projects also, much more friendship. The rotary pin opens doors like nothing else does. Nothing else. Okay? This is international service. And to fund all this, to fund all this, where do we get the funds? The Rotary Foundation is where we all put our money in. The basic concept of Rotary, where the district and the Rotary International con concentrates two things, membership and the foundation. Membership, you've already bought in enough members, looking at at least some more members and the foundation now, where we all donate money to the foundation. All of us have done charity. All of us have given money to people. But when we give in a one-off manner, 100 rupees remains 100 rupees. But when we give to the foundation, $100 becomes $200, $500. Correct? The first level is $1,000. Paul Harris Fellowship. Second level is major donor. And going on upwards. So thank you all. Requesting more members to be joining into your club, I will hand over to my good friend, Dr. Om Prakash Kendal, for further talk. Thank you. Om, please take over. Thank you, Captain. Uh, thanks. I am not in a very good place. Actually, my club is having a fellowship meeting. And I'm doing this. I cannot miss my club fellowship meeting as well. I cannot miss this because the captain has some of you and Rupa is there. So, with this, all can I share a PPT, small PPT? Sure, sure, sir. Uh, it would be nice if you can also share. Uh... The PPT for us later uh, because yeah, most of us are visually impaired so that we can go oh, through then, it. Then I will just I will just stop. Or no, just... no, you can share now because uh, uh, we have few members who can see the screen and they will, for them it will be beneficial. Most disabled participants can see yeah. I have made Maybe. you the co-host so you can share your screen. Still, it is not happening. Anyway, uh, I will go ahead with uh, 
Give him co host, it's not given. One minute, I'll, I'll just do that. I made that time, I don't know what happened. Yes. So, can oh. you try now? I'm so sorry, I made that time, I don't know what happened. Yes, yes. Yeah. Today I'm going to talk about sun. I am facing our maternal uh, Sir, your voice is low. Uh, we are, I don't know if it is for me or if it is for everyone. I think it should be for everyone because I am sitting in every place. Now, is it audible? Yeah, now yeah. it's better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just replacing Mr. Frank. Uh, today, I'll be just talking about the seven focus areas which falls under the service category. So, mainly. Seven focus areas are in the PPT. It is peace building and conflict prevention. Then we have basic education and literacy, disease prevention and treatment, what sanitation and hygiene, community development, maternal child health. Yeah. And we're on. So these are the seven focus areas. Go in detail what we do in each areas of focus. Yes. For the disease prevention treatment, normally it is like polio is one of the major things. So there we have uh, this is prevention day. Peace and conflict resolution. We support the fellowships and partnership and ensure that the conflicts and inequality is better. Of course, water, we need clean water to survive. Better sanitations are required. This is one of the very important areas today. Another child health. Education literacy, all of you must be aware about that. We have happy students and other things. Uh, economic and community development. This is also very important. Where we create opportunity to help individuals and communities thrive financially and socially so that the upliftment happens. Then environment. Environment is very important. That's why we have then. So we have tree plantation. So all these avenues are very important. Better service for this society and time. Not alone this, though we are very serious areas in the community project, as Vipariani mentioned, the first foremost interest was have fun, network. That's all about fun and fellowship. Every meeting we think, like today also, when the meeting started, so we ought to know their classifications. And thereafter, we started our business. Fun and fellowship is part of the day. And Justin is there, I think he's the club service director. The importance of bonding is very important. It only comes to the fun and fellowship. It involves networking with the fellow Rotarian and Senate. Have variety of interest would have like-minded materials and other clubs in the entire district. 
and the promotion. You can buy the promotion. At least what the promotion is and the main line. And just to be, and the district organize events or ICGF, the district conference. And there, a lot of fellowship and programs are being conducted. Those are old members of the district. Now, if you see the fellowship groups, like minded peoples, similar hobbies, those who are interested in networking and business will have a business. Something like BNI, if you can interact, grow the business. Then you have photographers, fellowship group, wine tasting fellowship group, cricket fellowship group. Then you have even professional forming a group. So there are ample number of fellowship groups where you can develop your hobby and you get a the audience and platform. Music lovers can join a music group that is high from art. So that's how the Rotary has one fellowship around and it bonds with the lower rotation and we work together happily and do service to the society. So that's how Rotary has conquered the world and still remains connected wherever the captain was functioning. If you support us, Rotary pin on your shirt or a coat, you will be recognized. Wherever you go, you get somebody to help you. That's the public image you can. So, with these few words, I would uh, hand it over to Captain for the next session. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Om Prakash, sir. And now uh, we have a uh, woman in Rotary Director, Rotary Sri Vidya, madam. Good evening, everybody. Uh, President, good evening. My name is Rotarian Sri Vidya Mohan, and I'm from Rotary Bangalore Objects. I suppose being the last speaker, I have to make it as short and crisp and also as interesting as possible. Well, Women in Rotary started in the year 1989. That's when uh, it got approved that women could join Rotary. Now, you need to understand uh, your classification. I'm only a homemaker. But imagine the platform Rotary has given me to be a leader in this uh, place. This is my first active role in the district as a director in Women in Rotary. I'm really enjoying it. I was a past president, as Arvind said, uh, he was my co-president. We did uh, one or two uh, joint projects and we really enjoyed the year. That is what leadership is about. You don't need to be somebody to join Rotary. You said you meet in somebody's house the meetings, invite one person that day, some external person, it can be a homemaker, it can be a friend, it can be a relative. Let us just come to see what your people are doing, what uh, activities you're doing, invite her for the projects when you're doing. They don't have to be a Rotarian. Through seeing what you all are doing, we can make them uh, very active Rotarians. So classification, I didn't find anybody who is a homemaker, you know. Yes, and sir. trust me, they are the most hardworking. They oh, okay. uh, enjoy really yourself. put enjoy in yourself. their heart and soul Thank Thank you very much. whatever Thank you they do. And um, you'll come up with amazing ideas, whether it's for projects or for fellowship or for an outing. They are the brainchild of all these activities. Our club is about 90 members. I was the first lady member to be inducted. And I was also the first lady president after 36 long years. So imagine the leadership I had. So I want more ladies to join your organization. And trust me, you people can uh, create an unbelievable world of friendship and service to anybody who comes into your life. You can touch so many people's uh, heart and they will remember you for the rest of their lives. So that's all I want to say. Invite people to your Rotary meetings, to your projects, and that's how your strength of Rotary will go. Srinya sir, I hope I've done <laughs> justice to what I have to say. I do wanted to stress too much about it, but uh, we need to grow currently in our district. We are only 18% lady Rotarians. And uh, we want to increase it. 
So at least if each one, each club maybe can bring in, you know, two to three ladies also. I'm the most happiest person in the world. But trust me, moment they come into your club, give them a responsibility, give them an activity to be uh, in charge of. And that's when they will be a Rotarian for life. That is the key mantra for a lady Rotarian, I would say. Thank you so much, Rotarian Chandna, for giving me this opportunity to talk to all your members and wishing you a rocking year and hope to see you at the ICGF uh, no, very soon next month. And I want to say one thing. At every district event, Arvind was there and he would be sitting right in the front, you know. That is the commitment he had for Rotary. And that is the commitment each one of you need to do. You need to attend events. Only club events is a small affair. You need to come out and see the bigger picture. Only when you see the bigger picture that you get inspired. And that's when you create hope in the world. Thank you so much. Have a great evening and good night. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. See you there, ma'am. Thank you. And on behalf of the team and uh, district trainer, I would also like to say thank you very much inviting you to attend all the district events and over to uh, Rupari and Thank you, Captain. I think uh, we hopefully we have added a lot of meaning and we have delivered a lot of inputs to President Chandana and her entire team in Rotary Abilities. Thank you thank once again for the opportunity. Over to you, President. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, we'll just have a quick five minutes of Q&A. If anybody have any questions, uh, please ask. Any of the new members, you have any questions? Um, I have a question. Um, so um, we did speak about the the, the fellowship uh, groups, right? So do we do we have a one stop place where we can find the uh, you know information about all these groups on Rotary.org or such a place where we can choose a group and then join? Yes, madam. Uh, we do have a fellowship director in the district. We do okay. have a fellowship director. I'm. Uh, Last year it was uh, Sanjay Krishna, but now that we have divided, I'm uh, not sure. I think it is uh, Krishna Maryanka, Rotary Krishna Maryanka from uh, Rotary Basungudi, who is the fellowship director. You can contact him if you want. I'll send the details to president, and you can contact him, and he'll be able to help you to join any of the fellowship groups. Which I'm a group? member of eight fellowship groups, but I would invite all of you to please join. I was just going to say the same. I too am a member in quite a few of the fellowship groups. What group are you interested in, Kameshwari? I can immediately tell you who to contact. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, interested in um, things like yoga, crocheting, and uh, gardening, and so many other things. So these are a few which come to my mind for now. <laughs> okay, great. I love... Uh, I don't no, but uh, these groups, whether they are there, but I'll definitely inquire and I'll inform your president that. Yeah, if it is not there, we can start one. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that will be wonderful, president. That will be really yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Trust me, there will be so many of them who are interested in that hobbies and they don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. So it will be an opportunity for us to start one. Absolutely. <laughs> See, so fact, Srivita Madam is nice heading group. the food uh, lovers uh, group. Ah, so, yeah. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I'm currently the chairman for the food lovers group. I'm also oh. in the committee of the music, uh, music group. I'm also there in the photography. And oh. uh, yeah, there's so many others. Music too. I will join, Madam. Which one? Music, music I will join. Music? Uh, okay. Yeah, thank music you. I will also join. Yes, I would like to join in music. Definitely. I'll ask uh, Hari, who's our chairman for uh, Hari Pobati from uh, Kaban Park. He's the current chairman for uh, the Music Lovers Group of uh, 3191. I will, uh, Srinivasar, I'll take uh, your number from uh, Nagraj or I can share it to Chandana. Uh, sure, Pobati's sure. Number, and uh, yeah. I think we can take it from there. 
Yeah, and from our club, uh, Arun is into Rotary Action Group against MS, and I'm into a book, a group, uh, Rotary Book Readers or something. Yes. Fellowship. So I'm into that. Wonderful. And I think few others are also, uh, Justin Sir is in some action group. I'm not sure of the name. Yeah, book <laughs> we readers, are into book, few group. book readers. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Right. Really wonderful. That's yeah. really nice. Thank and uh, I had a question um, yes, uh, just because last year uh, we had this challenge. So last year, uh, Nagra sir was the uh, assistant governor and that year he had not taken any role in the club. So that is making me ask the question here. So since I saw the, the introduction of everyone, so uh, is there any uh, restriction when anybody, uh, club members take the district role, they're not supposed to take any role in the club? No, 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 no. See, Rupa Madam is uh, having a role in the district and in the club. Similarly, I do have. Srividya Madam has. All of us have uh, district and uh, club role. <laughs> yeah, that is the reason I'm asking that question because <laughs> last year, Nagra sir, very uh, nicely. <laughs> no, so he was, like, since the he was the assistant and, uh, governor, he didn't want to take any role in the club. That's okay. But <laughs> he did an outstanding job as an assistant governor. Yeah. I was the director coordinator in the board and I've been watching him and I've been watching other people like uh, Arvin sir and everybody. You are all absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful Thank you so, people. Thank you you so much. You need to understand sir. ours is a social organization. We are doing it voluntary. Whatever we take on is a voluntary work. So obviously when we want to take on something, we want to give it 100%. So this... <laughs> No hard and fast rule or anything. It's just go up, you know, balls down to multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Which I should also say women are very good at. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at all the women here. They're all multitaskers. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So anybody else have any questions? Uh, with new members, Gokul, Gopi, sir, Shreyas, Pooja, and Kiran. Uh, Nagra, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I have a question here. So, in inducting uh, new members, I have a question. See, uh, in uh, Rotary, we have uh, like if any member from the family, like say one person is a uh, member, so his husband or wife, uh, when he or she become member, they will pay only our dues and uh, the other main important dues. So in our club, in our in our club, what happens? Uh, most of us are bachelors, but uh, also sometimes a uh, few few members they need uh, uh, help of their family members. See wherever they go, wherever they uh, go, they uh, the family member will be bringing she he or she, and slowly they are also interested to join Rotary, but. Uh, in case uh, in their case they they may not be able to pay full subscription if uh, if it is okay if they pay only r reduce and whatever the uh, mandatory dues and we can make him as a him or as a member of our club very correct uh, uh, past president yeah. arvin sir you can take only the statutory mandatory dues only yeah which comes down to about 9000 odd if i am right you do not <clears throat> you have to pay the RA dues and we'll ask the, the DG to waive off the district dues for the spouse member. We will ask him. Yeah. I'm not guaranteeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dues you need not pay for two people in a house are members. You need not pay for both magazine dues. So it's only going to be the RA dues. That should not be too much. Is yeah. that okay with you, sir? Yeah, yeah, district fine. dues already uh, as per the message that has been circulated uh, it yes. is not there for spouse exactly it's only yeah. for the members and it's not there for the spouse exactly that came today in the president's group right yesterday and today yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> adding yeah. to that uh, my wife is also a rotarian so she's uh, since three years uh, she's there in our club Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, also Kiran and Kameshwari. So Kiran's husband, he's also a Rotarian and, and they both like, yeah, so. That's nice to know, madam. That's really nice to know. And 
Any other questions anybody has? Yeah, anybody else have any questions? We can um, uh, take one last question. Okay, I'll consider the silence as no. And I would hand it over to Arun for the vote of thanks, our club secretary. Uh, before that, Chandana, I should thank uh, Rupa Madam, Vidya uh, Madam and everybody for the excellent uh, presentations. Om Prakash sir, everybody. Yeah, same from my side also. I'm so happy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And like uh, Rupa, one minute if you don't mind, President. No like Rupa, no Madam, ask, can we have everybody switch on their uh, TV, I mean, the cameras, so that we can take one picture for the records. One picture for sure. the records. Yeah, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Uh, we will do it before the vote of thanks. Yeah, I please, any, sure. everybody, please switch on your uh, video for a, a click. Um, I don't know how to take a picture, so somebody should help me with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it's working now, finally, my video. And I don't know if my video is right or wrong. <laughs> I'm just right. randomly switched it on. You're looking fine, President. Okay. <laughs> Justin, sir, Shreya, sir, and Pooja, madam, and Raghu, please switch on Gokul Krishna. Switch on your uh, cameras, please. Yeah, it's already on. Uh, is, my, is my face not visible? No, sir. It's no. blank. It's blank. Maybe light. Raghu, blank, is it? Uh, yes. Alt V is the shortcut for yeah, anybody yeah. who has joined from the system. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's yeah, Justin, sir, Shreyas, and uh, yeah, now it's okay, sir. I mean, Gok Gokul Krishnan, Pooja Maram, and Raghu, sir. Um, uh, if you guys have any technical issues, you can just let us know. Yeah, is my space visible? Uh, is my video on or uh, it's still not visible? It's on vocal, it came and now it's gone. I think oh. it was fine uh, some seconds back, Kokul. Uh, Raghu, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Pooja, madam, and Justin, sir. Am Can I visible, sir? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Raghu, sir. Yes, you're visible, sir. Thank you, sir. Shreyas and uh, Justin, sir. Pooja, madam. Yeah, some technical problem here. Okay. That Okay, not an issue. We'll take as much as possible. Thank you very much. This is for the records, like our trainer says. It'll be really wonderful to see yeah, this and for the rest of the members. Pics, please do share it with me. Yeah, share it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely, madam. Definitely. So you can go for your vote of thanks. Rupa, madam, is it right? Yeah. Uh, the picture is done. Yes, yeah, I'll take the picture. It's okay, okay, thank you. Arun, over to you for the word of thanks. Uh, what a wonderful introduction. I, I hope I'm audible. Ah, you're audible. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, what a wonderful introduction to Rotary. Uh, uh, I must thank, uh, at the onset, it should be Dr. Rotarian, sorry, I, I'm still <laughs> yet to come terms to that, but uh, Rotarian Dr. Rupa Adani. And uh, the second I would like to thank is Dr. Uh, sorry, Captain, Rotarian Captain Srinivas. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it wouldn't be right if I don't uh, thank uh, Shri Vidya, uh, Rotarian Shri Vidya Murli in, in the whole uh, uh, you know, talk that we had. And uh, I would also like to thank uh, Rotarian Om Prakash. Thank you so much, uh, all of you. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, you know, when, when this, uh, you were talking about, uh, you know, first you become an interactor, then you become a rotractor, then you become a rotarian. And that's exactly the phase that I went through. I started as an interactor, then became a, rotar a rotractor. Now a rotarian, and now I'm going to lead a rotary club. So it, it's, it's been an incredible journey that I've, I've been having. And I hope I can continue like this forever. And uh, like uh, Chandra said, you know, I am part of the Rotary Action Group. 
against MS also because I have MS and I've been working very closely with uh, Rotarian Shankar uh, in that uh, in that uh, group action group and uh, I'm I'm sure a lot of people you know found it extremely beneficial with the kind of talking that uh, we got to hear today and uh, you know I must confess this. Uh, Dr. Rupa, your talk was incredible, incredible. <laughs> and, and especially the way you, it was like you were telling a story and that was absolutely incredible. Thank and uh, I'm, I'm so privileged that, uh, you know, she's going to be my uh, co-president <laughs> next year. So I'm, I'm privileged <laughs> as it is. So thank you all so much. Uh, and uh, Rotarian Srividya, you are the Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Srinivasa, thank you so much for everything that you spoke and what you enlightened us with. And thank you all my colleagues out here uh, for joining and uh, being part of this uh, orientation program. Thank you. Thank you very much all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good night. President, can we have the you YouTube link if you can? Sorry? The YouTube link you said you are going to do it. If yeah. you can send it, we'll be happy. Okay? Definitely, definitely. Sir. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sir. Still, we have to upload it to YouTube and tomorrow. You do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do it?